What's up you guys? Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Barbas. Um, yesterday you guys seen that I live stream and I was showing you guys how long it takes to get this done. Yesterday I did about two hours on the live stream and all I did was hit everything that had rust with the wire brush and then I went ahead and I started hitting everything with some sandpaper. So today I did get down to the bare metal. Well, yesterday I did get down to the bare metal, but today there's still, I used a compressor to blow all of this off, all the powder of everything that I sanded, but there's still like some particles left. I really don't want to wash this with water because of the fact that I'm down to the bare metal and I'm afraid that it will rust in a week or two and I might not realize it till it's too late because it might start to rust underneath the primer. That's what I'm thinking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe everything down. I've done this many times where I wipe everything down with some mineral spirits when I've reached this stage where I'm down to the bare metal. Once the mineral spirits dries up, I go ahead and I make sure that everything's nice and clean. I'll wipe it down a few times with the mineral spirits once I know that everything's nice and clean, everything's nice and dry, I'll go ahead and I'll start laying some primer in all these areas where the metal is exposed. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna wipe everything down and we are gonna lay some primer. Before I throw you guys on a quick time lapse, this time lapse is just gonna be me cleaning a little bit and laying some primer, nothing else. Then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna continue to film. But before we do all that, I just wanna thank you guys for yesterday's video, everybody that joined, everybody that was there. I just wanna thank you guys because it does help out. Um, even if you just come into the video two, three minutes, it does help out. It does help pull more people in. We are 10 subscribers away from our raffle, which is awesome. I'm already gonna start, it's gonna be the weekend. I'm already gonna start pulling out the engine that's the Nest Quick, and I'm gonna start prepping Nest Quick for the giveaway. So, with that being said, let's get this time lapse started. Primer is down and it's looking really good. I'm gonna let this dry up for a little bit and then I'll come back and continue 
to sand. Um, I did notice the good thing about the primer is that you can see like any areas that need to be sanded. And like right here, you can see that there's already gonna be a spot right there. It has like some scratches or something. I think that's from the wire brush. I still gotta hit that up a little bit more. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. When this is all done and painted, the main areas that people are gonna be looking at when they see your engine right here, the main things they're gonna be looking at is this bump right here, this area, that side right there, that area, and this. So this is really what I wanna focus on because everything else is gonna be covered. The whole back side is gonna be all covered. There might be something here, there might be something there. But besides that, it's mostly this whole area right here, that area, and this front piece that I wanna focus on. So I'm gonna let this dry up and I'll be back. All right, everything's completely dry. I'm gonna go ahead and look for the spots that have the scratches such as this one let me show you one more time such as this spot right here you guys can see the little scratch marks right there so wherever i see those little scratch marks i'm gonna go ahead and hit it with 180 grit and then once i smooth it out i'll lay a little bit more primer and then we'll go ahead and jump to our 320 and we'll hit the whole engine bay with 320. This way I'll know that everything's nice and even and nice and smooth and all the scratches are gone. So I'm gonna go ahead throw you guys another little time time lapse and get started. I went after all the scratches and all the scratches look pretty good this whole section like I told you in that main section and I really didn't see much anything else um, so it's looking pretty good the back firewall I didn't primer that because of the fact that I'm really not down to the bare metal in the back so I'm just gonna go ahead and just let that be and what I am gonna do is let this dry up and I'm gonna come back and hit everything with 320. So I thought I was recording and for some reason the camera was not recording. But either way, I went ahead and I hit it with the 320. And in some areas I did burn through the primer. Like right here, right here. Some little spots over here too. You can see that I burned through the primer, the edging. But it's not a big deal. I'm going to go ahead and lay a little bit more primer. I'm going to wipe it, everything down with the mineral spirits and then lay some more primer down. But it is pretty smooth. I think that I did burn through it because I only had about two coats of primer on. It really wasn't that thick either. It was just like some quick coats that I gave it but i'm gonna come back like i said and i'm gonna touch up all these little spots hit everything where i burned through and then i'm gonna go ahead and after it dries i'm gonna hit it with some 320 again to try to get it smooth out again but it is really smooth as it is right now very smooth which is what we're looking for but i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then 
it's gonna be time to hit it with the 400. I just laid the coat of primer down and it's looking really good, very smooth. And I think once this dries up, we're gonna go ahead and hit it with some 400 grit sandpaper. And for the 400 grit sandpaper, I might do it, uh, I might wet sand it. That's what I'm thinking. But it's looking really good. And this is gonna be it. Next time you guys see me, I'll probably do another live stream and I'll wet sand this whole thing with some 400 grit. And after the 400, I'm gonna hit it with the 600. And that's gonna be my final finished product ready for paint. But it's looking really good. This is time consuming. So I'll catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later. Oh, that's fine.